Hey guys, so gonna do some more painting with you all and just chit chat. I know um, my last video didn't make everybody so happy, but yes, that is you know, selling off your collection is something that is very selfless. I can do um, in order to financially take us where we need to go. Um, it's just, you know, um, <clears throat> moving to Texas is super expensive, but it's worth it in the end because I have a really awesome friend who has, um, a manufactured home and it's paid off and she's just going to charge us the lot fee, which is only $500 is really cheap. And, um, it's a three bedroom, two bath place. And it's an amazing opportunity for us to be able to get out of California and have a place to go already for us. So, um, but yet, it's the moving part that is pretty expensive. Like, just to get the rental truck is, it's like $1,300. And then, you know, that doesn't cover gas and it's a 20 hour drive for us. So we obviously can't do that all in one day, especially with, you know, the animals we're going to have to stop and have them do potty breaks. And so we're going to have to get hotels. I'm hoping that we could do it in a two days time. That's 10 hours driving a day. We'll see how it goes. But it's gas for two vehicles, the rental truck and then our car. And um, yeah, so the best way and quickest way for me to come up with money because I really don't have time to... And I really don't, yeah, I really don't have time to take on more customs because I'm trying to work crazy fast to get more done before we leave. Um, you know, it's the quickest way for us to get some extra money. So then when we do move to Texas, we're not completely broke because we spent it all on um, moving that we're actually going to get there and have money and stuff. So, um... I know it makes you guys sad to see me sell part of my collection. And it does make me sad too because these babies that I had right now, like I really, really like them a lot. But I um, realize that they are dolls. They're not real little children. And they're all replaceable. Plus, I already have two babies that I want Jackie to make me. Um, and they're kits that I really want versus, you know, she was making dolls and she gave me Holly because I liked her, but she also needed a Christmas gift. <laughs> and then, you know, like, um, she had no Valentine's Day gift for me. I know she's horrible, right? She was making rain and I liked him, summer rain. I liked him and I just took him because basically at that point in time, I really just wanted him. And so I was kind of selfish instead of buying kits that I really really wanted and I was like hey can you make them for me so now I have two kits that I really want and well I don't have them physically but I know what I want so she's gonna make them for me and um yeah but I think that a lot of you know getting attached to getting too attached to my collection is sometimes not a good thing to do because um those who have followed me for a long time know that I come, babies come and go. Sometimes I get dolls, you don't even ever see them. I just put them for sale, and that's because I don't like them. So they go immediately for sale, and they get a new home. This is a custom I'm working on. It's like the biggest toddler ever. But um, I am trying to keep dolls around for you guys to have bonds with. Like, I have Molly. You know, Molly will be here, which, speaking of Molly... Be making some videos with her later um paisley and then i have ruby and those aren't going to go anywhere for at least a long time because i can't replace those kits because they are sold out very hard to find kits but and then um jody slater is making me another baby which i will get after we move sometime because i definitely don't want it coming home now plus she hasn't even started it but um, 
I'll be getting the Aurora Sky. And then I think I'm gonna add the twin of that kit, the Evangeline, to my collection too. Maybe Jody will wanna do another trade with me so she can paint it to match my Aurora. We'll see. If not, I'll just pay her. But um, yeah, I just wanted to make this video to be like, look, I'm sorry guys, I feel your pain. Um, imagine how I feel as the collector myself. It is sad, but moving is the best thing my family could do. It's so outrageously expensive in California, especially if you're a one income. And like, everybody tells you, oh, you need to save money. And I'm thinking, okay, well, you know, after I pay my bills and we have money for food and money to have fun, we don't have any money to save because I'm not going to save our fun money and just live a boring life because all I do is I save my money that we could have, you know, gone and done something with. So going to Texas is going to give me the ability to um, pay all my bills, rent, well, yeah, pay all my bills, um, have fun money, and be able to save, which is, like, really awesome. And also, like, the university that Jackie's going to go to, because we're going to be right next to San Antonio, um, San Antonio University. Over here, the universities are 12000 a year, like UC Davis, where she graduated from, and San Antonio is 9000 a year, so we're going to save money on school-wise. And the lady running us the house says that the schools are amazing for Tambri, so Tambri's going to get to go back to a public school and... It's just a new adventure. I mean, I look at it like this. There's 50 states. Why only live in one your whole life? If you have the opportunity to move and see more of the United States, you should. Just like being in California, you know, you're kind of, unless you're going to fly, but driving distance, you're limited to seeing, you know, Arizona, Nevada, Utah, Washington, Oregon. You know, those are in the close ranges over here to drive to. But, you know, like if I want to go to New York or Louisiana or Georgia, those are really far from California to drive to. So, I, you don't get to see those as much. But now that I'm moving to, like, we're moving to a different location of the states, we'll be able to go. Louisiana, New Orleans is 10 hours from us. So we've already been looking into this stuff, right? Um, New York was, I think it was 20 hours. No. New York is 16 hours. Um, no, wait. I think New York was 20 and Washington, D.C. was 16. I can't remember. But we've been looking into these different areas that we wouldn't normally be able to take, like, weekend trips to. Um, so we're already trying to figure out, like, what we're going to go check out and venture out and see. And just because, you know, we're moving to Texas doesn't mean that will be our final landing area. You know, we're kind of like military families. Military families move a lot. That's really awesome. So, um, you know, Jackie will finish school and maybe when we have two incomes, if we miss California that much, we'll come back to California. Like, there's always positive sides to all of this stuff. My biggest positive side is not living behind Jackie's mom anymore. But, just saying, you know, I know you guys are bummed to see babies go in my collection but also keep in mind that I'm just as sad and when you guys are leaving hateful negative comments on my channel it doesn't make me feel any better and point being is it's not gonna make the baby come back um, so you know you guys just need to learn to like me for me and like whatever else I bring on with this channel not only like me because you like a certain doll of mine um, I don't watch anybody's channel because I like a certain doll of theirs. I watch their channel because I like them. I always go back to um, Hello Melissa Sue when I first found her on YouTube. And I remember she was waiting for her first doll. And this is what made me like her channel. was um, The tracking had like updated and she was in her room screaming and acting all crazy. And having fun and just being herself. And that was like... A big reason why I was attracted to her channel um, so and I think that everybody should be attracted to people's channels because of who they are you know not what they have if you're watching people's channels because of what they have I think that 
that's not really the right answer because, um, you know, that means you don't truly like the person running the channel, I think. But, hey, we're all different people. We all have our own opinions, right? So, um, yeah, I just wanted to chat with you guys about that because I know you're sad and I want you guys to know I understand how you feel. I was sad once when I saw Kelly Girl sell Janica, but you know what? She got another awesome doll after that. I wasn't so sad. But I moved on because, you know, I like Kelly Girl's channel because of Kelly. Not because of her dolls. But with that being said, I hope you guys have a happy Friday. It is Friday, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, because this week has been all thrown off. Like, we've been staying up to 4 in the morning. It's nutso. And getting up around 12, 1 o'clock. <laughs> So, yeah, um, yeah, so that's pretty much all I wanted to say. I just want you guys to know that you're awesome, and have a great Friday, and keep a watch for some videos coming up. They're going to be some fun ones, and thank you for watching.